Whatever. Driving home on slippery, windy roads, crying over my heartbreak. Why did he leave? Why wasn't I enough? The rain washing over my windshield like the tears streaming down my face. I don't see the reason to live anymore. My heart can't be, can't ever be whole. I faintly see headlights coming towards me. What is the point of life anymore without him? Driving my car faster and faster, I spin out of control, slamming into a car. I try to scream, but it physically seems impossible. The air gets knocked out of me like someone is ripping it from my lungs. I wake up to the faint sound of a constant beat. I look to the side and see my parents clinging to each other, clinging to each other, weeping. At first, I don't understand, but the events of the night before flash into my mind. I soon realize what I have become. I get up and look behind me to see my lifeless body lie in the hospital bed. I turn and walk out of the building. While I'm walking, my only thought is of him. He broke my heart, but I just want to see his face again. As I walk down the street, I try and wrap my head around the fact that I'm dead. But still, the only, still, with all this going on in my head, all I can think about is him. As I walk towards my old high school, I form my plan. I know that he won't be able to see me, but I have to see him. He has to know that I'm here and with him. I get to school and walk down the hall to where he lives. As soon as, the as I round the corner, I see him talking and laughing. I walk straight to him and sit on his lap. His face deepens in confusion as he feels added weight to his life. He turns around to, he, tur he looks around trying to figure out what's going on. As the last bell rings, I get up to let him move. I know that we belong together. So I quickly figure that I'll follow him home. Walking down the street, we again we pass by my house. I pause and look into the highest window where my window like where my sister sits on her bed, listening to music, unaware of the events that have occurred. He kept on walking, forcing me to run to catch up, to catch up, and he turns at the pitter patter of my feet on the ground. He continues to walk as he turns. He continues to walk and up the steps to his as he goes. He walks up. He opens the door and walks up the spiral staircase that leads to his room. I follow. He walks into the room and closes the door and I start, he starts to cry. I am puzzled by this, but he looks, but as he looks up, I follow his gaze to a picture, a picture of me. I want to comfort him, but I can't. I walk around his room and, room and look into a mirror. I realize he can't always be with me, and I can't keep him away from everyone. I reach over and grab the frame picture he has of me, and I smash the mirror. He quickly looks up, but not fast enough, as I drive a piece of broken glass into his heart, as I quietly whisper, now we can be together forever. 